everyone. Today I'm going to be reading you a story called The Tooth Fairies and the Cleaning Factory by Zenny Mathu and illustrated by maaillustrations.com. I hope you enjoy! Deep in the new forest, where no big people ever went, there was a tiny little magical village called the Ordon Gardens. Here, three little tooth fairies named Incisor, Canine, and Molar were busy at work in their factory. The three tooth fairies were all named after types of teeth. Incisor was tall and skinny with short pink hair. Canine was also tall with blue hair and Molar was the short wise one with curly silver locks. All day long, the busy little fairies cleaned and shined the children's milk teeth they had collected during the night. The milk teeth were used to make very useful things in the Ordon Gardens, like roads in the village and furniture in the homes for the little fairies. One day, Incisor realized that the teeth coming into the cleaning factory were not as strong as they used to be. Oh dear, said Incisor, these teeth are fragile and brittle, with holes and black spots. They crumble as soon as I try to polish them with my cloth. Whatever are we to do? Yes, said Canine, I know exactly what's wrong. The children are beginning to eat far too many sweets and are not looking after their teeth at all. I know, we can fix it, said Molar, the wise one. She sounded quite excited by her grand idea. The three fairies looked at each other and waited while Molar explained all. As usual, it was a fabulous idea. The three of them wasted no time at all and got to work straight away. That night, it was Canine's turn to fly off and collect all the milk teeth from under the sleeping children's pillow. Off she flew with a bag of coins, some white berry sandwiches for her lunch, and a pack of cards which the three fairies had spent all afternoon preparing. It was such a treat to leave the forest and see the city skyline, but it was a dangerous place for fairies. Canine had to make sure that the big people never saw her. She flew through the starry sky and saw the wonderful city fast asleep. Her first job was a young boy named Junior. Earlier in the night, Junior and his mom had placed his milk tooth under the pillow. Mummy tucked Junior into bed and told him all about the tooth fairy, who would leave some money in exchange for his tooth. She gave him a goodnight kiss and left him to fall asleep. By the time Canine arrived, Junior was fast asleep. She flew in through the top window that was ajar and glided quickly down to Junior's pillow. She perched beside him and braced herself in preparation for the task. Heave! She lifted the pillow and wedged herself between the pillow and the bed. She quickly grabbed the tooth and tossed it over to her backpack. She placed two coins and the fairy's special card in exchange under the pillow and flew off into the night sky to find more milk teeth. In the morning, as soon as Junior woke up, he rummaged under the pillow to see if the Tooth Fairy had left any money for him. He was thrilled to find the coins, but looked blankly at the card he found in his hand. Mummy didn't mention anything about a card, he wondered. He read the card out loud. The Tooth Fairy's Guide to Healthy Teeth Number 1. Eat Healthy Number 2. Cut down on sugary sweets and drinks Number 3. Brush your teeth twice a day. Number four, use a fluoride toothpaste. And number five, visit the dentist regularly. Back in the village of Ordon Gardens, the fairies were very happy about the new information card they were giving to the children. Soon enough, the milk teeth coming into the factory were strong and healthy again. The end. The Tooth Fairies and the Cleaning Factory by Zanny Mathu is a wonderful story that weaves its magic in the child's imagination, even while imparting an invaluable lesson in oral health and hygiene. This is a story that the children will return to time and again for a fun bedtime read.